take in folks so today's episode is about cardio and i'm going to give you one reason why you shouldn't do it and three reasons why you should do it hey ken folk so here are my reasons for why you should not and you should do cardio. So my number one reason why you should not ever do cardio is for weight loss. So here's my reasoning. So say you do an hour of modest, moderate cardio, you got your heart rate up, you put in your effort, you got your, uh, you got sweaty and you're tired and you're hungry. Good job, you just burnt 400, 600 calories at best. That's a candy bar. That's like a donut and a half. It's really not enough to really consider a, uh, a valid reason for uh, doing cardio. And ultimately, um, the, the longer you do that stuff, the more you're gonna see less returns. Eventually, you're gonna become very efficient at doing this sort of thing, and you're not gonna burn 400, 600 calories. You're gonna be burning maybe 300 because your body's used to it, and it's, it needs to hold on to those calories, those, those little fat cells. And so, right afterwards, I'm hungry, I wanna eat, so I eat. 750 to 1,000 calories in that meal, well, that's not gonna be enough. I'm not gonna be satisfied. So I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna eat a little bit more. And then I'm gonna eat a little bit more. I'm gonna eat a little bit more. And you know, I just keep slipping and I'm gonna end up binging on um, just cheese and you know, chocolate or you know, extra amounts of milkshakes or whatever I want at that time, just so I can just satiate my hunger. And I just came to the conclusion after years and years and years is that you can't outrun a fork. You cannot outrun a fork. I've tried it. I've tried to like say, well, what if I just ran three, three, four miles a day? Can I eat whatever I want? No, I'll end up getting bigger. My appetite will always be more than what I can actually eat. At best, I can burn 4,000 calories a day. That's if I'm running and gunning all day. And I can eat about 10,000 calories a day, easy. And you know, with sugar and fat and all the things that I'm, my body's gonna want, I'm gonna shove it into my face. So that's my reason why you should never use cardio as a means for weight loss. You want weight loss? Go to the kitchen. That's where you make those apps. That's where you get that weight loss. You shouldn't be eating the stuff that you know, you know you're supposed to be eating. Don't be drinking your calories, that sort of stuff. There'll be another episode where I talk about diet and exercise and stuff like that and how they have to be in tandem. But this is about cardio. So, reasons for why you should do cardio. Three reasons why. One, for recovery. So say you, you're really sore after an event or you're sore after a lift or a strength training program um, or your strains, pains, you know, general injuries. Uh, this will help you get your heart rate up and the blood flowing to that area. And it helps release all sorts of healing um, chemicals into your body when you do that, like uh, human growth hormone and all sorts of um, serotonin and melatonin, things that your body needs to sleep and heal your body overnight. It just floods your body with oxygen and helps you sleep better at night and just helps you deal with a lot of um, life's um, challenges that just come and hit you and end up hurting you. So that's reason number one. Reason number two, if you want to fight longer, if you want to run further, if you want to run further in armor, if you want to fight longer in armor, doing cardio, putting weight in a, ba in a, in a backpack will help simulate that and it'll help you um, fight better and longer in you know, every application of what we do as reenactors or as, as uh, LARPers. Um, that's, there's no two ways around it. You can't um, just keep doing this without, eventually you're gonna, if you keep going out to events without lifting or without doing cardio in between events, eventually you're gonna get injured. And um, eventually you're gonna exhaust yourself. Uh, you're not gonna fight as long, you're gonna peter out and then you're gonna, um, you're kind of gonna be letting your team down because you can't pull your weight anymore. And so this helps you do that and it helps you feel better afterwards to where everybody else is gassed after 45 minutes of fighting and you're still ready to go. You're barely breaking a sweat and you're going to feel way better afterwards. You're going to just be able to enjoy the rest of your evening and just uh, tell stories in the campsite without falling asleep. So you're just going to have better conditioning at the, um, at the end of the day. And so reason number three is it just improves your overall health and it just improves your, your, your overall mental you know, health. 
So, you know, lots of stress happens throughout our lives. And so the best, you know, healthiest, one of the, well, one of the healthiest ways to um, deal with this is to do cardio, is just kind of burn out all that stress and just kind of work it out. And if you just don't work it out, sometimes it just internalizes and festers. And sometimes it's just it's best to just get your heart rate up, it releases all sorts of endorphins that help kind of kill pain, that help to, um, you know, such as dopamine and things like that. These things help you uh, feel better and it helps heal your brain and it helps heal a lot of the problems that you might be experiencing at this point. Now, I'm not talking about doing hit cardio to solve, you know, any kind of personality disorder, but it does help. It's a drop in the bucket, but it's a drop that, you know, you could still use. And it's kind of a bigger drop than most drops. And it's something that everybody should be doing, no matter what activity level you, you have, you know, what, what kind of things that you have going on with you. Raising your heart rate up just a little bit is always good. Um, so that's all I got. And if you guys found this episode to be helpful in any way, buy me a coffee on my Ko-Fi or consider supporting me on Patreon. All this stuff takes time and energy and I could really use the help. I'm going to send you home with a be humble, be helpful, and be honorable. Thanks for watching.